Good afternoon and welcome back to Planet Coaster Alton Towers. Today we are moving up the hill and we're going to be doing a bit more work on Oblivion's queue line and we're going to be doing the first underpass through Oblivion Station. Of course it does go underneath Oblivion Station twice, uh, once where it's just a blank tunnel and then the second time you can actually see like the wheels of the coaster trains in the station. With that being said, if you do enjoy these daily uploads of Planet Coaster Alton Towers and you're not subscribed already, please do consider it because it does help out the channel a lot more than you think. So with that being said, let's move in to the time lapse. So then to start things off, I've done all the terrain and everything that the queue needs to go up and surprisingly the terrain is a lot steeper than I remember. I'm not sure if I've done it right. I'm, I'm pretty sure if I, I did do it right because I used um, all the planning applications and all the terrain sort of uh, differentiation, not differentiation, that's maths. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I have done the terrain right. Uh, if I haven't, then, well, uh, it's too late, to be honest. Anyway, so yeah, I'm doing all the terrain. I've put the queue path down that goes all the way up the hill. Um, and we're ready to basically just start the scenery in just a few seconds' time. Um, that queue is wrong, the one I just did there. It goes uh, sort of like an S-curve underneath the track into the station um, and I'll be later on in the time lapse of course and here I am starting all the scenery, the fences, uh, these custom fences of course once again by Hydro, uh, they, they're absolutely fantastic to be honest um, and yeah these just go all the way up the hill these fences uh, in my last episode of Planet Coaster Rotten Towns I was complaining about how Oblivion's queue just is way too long um, I think when I, when I was looking at images of this queue line, uh, there are places where you can shortcut, uh, few, f not few, uh, through the queue line actually and go up the hill directly. Like there's a few places where there's a set of stairs to cut that part of the queue basically, um, but they're never open really. They always have it barricaded off and I just don't understand why. Uh, it's like as if Nemesis would open its entire extended queue and make you walk all the way up the hill, all the way around the uh, the pre-drop. And it's just like, why is it happen on Oblivion if there are places where you can cut through the hill? And it's, it's just a bit weird, to be honest. Once again, I still stand by my opinion of Oblivion's queue line. I hate walking up that hill. I really, really do. Every single time you ride Oblivion, you just got to dread walking up that hill. Um, and also, one thing I want to talk about is, like, I've had some sort of an idea popped into my head where it's just, all that, like, terrain is gone, and they just revamp Oblivion's queue area, and they add a pre-show, and that pre-show acts like uh, Haunted Mansion's pre-show as a lift, but instead of lifting you down into the ride's warehouse for Haunted Mansion, uh, this one actually lifts you up, to station height. I mean, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? And like, and it has some sort of drop effect in there. I don't know. Um, I'm just getting too far, too ahead of myself there, to be honest. So here, I'm doing a bit of support work. Uh, you know, nothing really major for this. It's literally just break run supports. They're nothing interesting at all now, are they? So um, yeah, so just doing a bit more support. God, how long is this park going to take? I have no idea, but. Once again, to comment on B&M Dive Coaster supports, I've commented on them in every single one of these videos, but I just, I still hate them, I don't like them, why are they connected like that? Honestly, what is that connector? Why? Uh, this support is actually a bit weird, I'm not sure why that support is done like that, but it's got that straight down support, then it's got another two supports uh, going down at 90 degree angles to each other, and it's just a bit weird. Um, here I'm starting the break run, not not the break run, I'm losing my words, the, the transfer track, well, and it's gone, I cut it out apparently, but uh, yeah, the transfer track for Oblivion is not really that noticeable to be honest, you don't really notice uh, Oblivion's maintenance shed, I, I don't really notice it that much, because it's, it's really out of the way, whereas stuff like Nemesis's maintenance shed, as well as Smilers and Wickerman, you literally go through the maintenance shed, but Oblivion, it's really like out of the way is really hidden I never really notice it I really don't and I believe when you go over the exit bridge of oblivion 
I think you can kind of see a bit of the maintenance shed in there and see if they've got any shuttles in there that they're working on, I don't know. The gap I left there in between the rocks and the walls is actually where one of the queue line shortcuts are, the stairs that go up to the next level of the queue line. And that will be in a later episode of course when I do get to that part of the queue line because this queue line is going to be split into multiple episodes really because it's so long. I th this just proves that the queue line is so long. So here I'm actually doing the cobble wall, uh, it's very similar to the cobble walls in Nemesis's queue line, for that I use like a ton of wooden pillar pieces um, and the piece count just skyrocketed when I did that, but for this I made sure just to use these spooky wall pieces because they look exactly the same really, in real life of course it's a bit more orange, a bit more mossy, but well you can't really do that in Planet Coaster, so they're done and I'm actually doing the uh, fences in the middle of the queue line. Those have been there for, well, since Oblivion opened. What are they for? Honestly, what are those fences for? Are they, are they so you can um, join up chain links to them and make it like a cattle pen? I honestly don't understand what those queue fences are for because they're, they're placed throughout Oblivion's queue line, just random fences like that in the middle of the path. Is it? Was it something that used to be there that maybe the queue would split off? I, I have no idea. If you do know what it is, please put it down in the comments below because those queue line fences always perplex me. Um, it's just so weird. Here I am, of course, putting all the Oblivion logo on these walls as they're in real life. I did this in TMTK this morning, not TMTK, Blender this morning, and then converted it into TMTK. Uh, I've actually replaced the ones I did at the Drops Plaza as well. I mentioned that a few episodes ago. But I was going to replace those with Team DK versions, uh, that's of course done. Here I'm starting the station building, uh, the station building is kind of a weird colour because you'd think it with Oblivion, it's kind of like silver or grey, but no it's, it's sort of like um, a very very light beach colour. The station building, well the bottom of the station building, that is the top of it is basically just a tin shed. And of course I'm actually starting the entranceway into the tunnel that goes directly underneath the station. This is the first uh, part of the queue line that goes underneath the station of course. As I mentioned at the start of the episode there are two parts of Oblivion's queue line that go underneath. Um, but yeah it's kind of weird. And also one thing that I really really want to get right is the terrain of Oblivion and just how high up the station is. Because on Oblivion's queue line it's just that hill is there on its own and then once like on the other side of Oblivion Station um, it just drops down into the maintenance road because it yeah yeah there's a maintenance road there and then also whilst I was looking on Google Maps uh, for reference Im not reference reference images sorry for uh, this recreation there's actually a house there what on earth I know there's the house in between Spinball and Smiler um, but there's just a random house next to the maintenance road behind Oblivion Station. I had no idea there's a house there. Seriously, if you go... I don't think it is on Google Maps, actually. I think it was one of the images from Towers Times where they flew a drone over in the winter and it showed like the house in the trees behind Oblivion Station. I did not know that house was there at all. I really didn't. Um, but yeah, just doing the rocks and everything, these rocks are so simple to do, they're just all the same, they go all the way up the queue line really. Uh, once again, they are sort of like orangey moss sort of colour in real life, but you know, you can't really do that in Planet Coaster. And here, just doing the scenery, once again, like I mentioned a few episodes ago, if you want your theme parks in Planet Coaster to look good, just place down a variety of scenery, don't place down just one scenery item like say one oak tree because that won't look good place down like a variety of scenery and it just it starts looking really really good when you just pile it on top of each other and it looks really realistic so here of course just doing the final bits of scenery and it actually brings us to the end of today's Planet Coaster Ogden Towers video. If you've enjoyed it, then please, of course, do leave a like on the video. If you're not subscribed already, please do consider subscribing because it helps out the channel a lot more than you think. And with that being said, I'll see you tomorrow where we'll be doing more work on Oblivion's Q line. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.
Thank you.